Well, I've got some pretty exciting news to share with all of you today. After a long and immensely satisfying career in law and government service, in journalism and teaching and TV commentary, I'm today announcing my candidacy for the head of pediatric neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Now, this isn't anything I ever thought I'd do. It's not even anything I particularly wanted to do. But if that's what the Lord had in mind for me, well, then who was I to say no to him? Now, some of you are probably thinking, but Rick, you have absolutely no experience in neurosurgery, let alone pediatric neurosurgery. What qualifies you to offer yourself as a candidate for this position? Well, I'd expect some to doubt me, but uh, the important thing is never to doubt yourself, and I don't. I just point out uh, when it comes to pediatric neurosurgery uh, that I was once a child myself, and also I have nerves in my head and all over my body. Uh, I'll also remind you, in my many years of working in government and covering government, I've dealt with many people whose brains were not in 100% working order. So this won't be anything new uh, for me, except maybe some of the cutting. Uh, so you're still wondering, a few of you, okay, sure, be a neurosurgeon if that's what the Lord is calling you to do, but director? Is director of pediatric neurosurgery and at a leading institution like Johns Hopkins, uh, no less? Uh, really an entry-level job, shouldn't you start a little lower down the ladder? I say America has been built by people who dreamed high and th thought high and then acted high. So I have every faith, and my faith is a constitutionally compatible faith, not like some faiths I could name. I have every faith that my never attending medical school or even taking a biology class since high school will be no impediment to taking on this critical job at this critical time. Uh, that's what democracy is all about. That's what America is all about. God bless uh, America. <laughs>